Hello, welcome back. The title of this lesson is called Exponents and Factors. This is part one. Another title might be called uh, Using Exponents or Using Exponents and Their Factors. Again, part one. What we're going to do is talk about the concept of an exponent and really make sure you understand that we can write exponents as the product or the multiplication of what we call factors. It sounds way more complicated than it actually is, so the easiest thing to do is let me write an exponent on the board and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So let's take a look at the following. We have uh, the number five, right? And we'll, we will write an exponent as a power of two. Now, when we have something uh, uh, written like this with a, a number five raised to a power of two, the number two at the top is what we call the exponent, right? And the big number at the bottom, the thing that you're raising to the exponent is called the base. So you take a base and you raise it to an exponent. Now, exponents are really just shortcuts for writing multiplications, right? So when we write five to the power of two, that means it's five times five. We multiply the five times itself and we have two of them in there because we're raising it to the power of two. So what we say is that this five to the power of two is really equal to five multiplied by five. Notice there's two of them here. And the reason we have five multiplied twice here is because, or five times itself with two of them here on the board is because there is a two here. If it was five to the power of three, it would be five times five times five. We would have three of them there. If it was five to the power of four, it would be five times five times five times five. You see, so the exponent tells you how many times you multiply by yourself, multiply by itself in order to, to get the answer here. So you all know that five times five, you already know what that's equal to. Five times five is equal to 25. So what we say is that the number 25 is exactly equal to five times five, which is also exactly equal to the, uh, the expression here, five to the power of two. When we have a power of two, it comes up so much in math, we have a special name for it. To the power of two, we call it a square. So if I tell you five squared or six squared or 10 squared or negative one squared later on or 17 squared, the squared just means power of two. That's all it means. But of course we can have uh, different exponents we'll talk about in just a minute. Now, when we write uh, a number raised to an exponent like this, a base raised to an exponent, what we're doing is we're multiplying it by itself like we have said here. Now, if you remember, in previous math lessons, we talked about the idea of a factor, factors of numbers, greatest common factor. Remember, we talked about greatest common factor a long time ago. In math, a factor are just the numbers that can be multiplied together to give you whatever number you're talking about. So because five squared can be written as five times five, we say that these here are the factors in uh, here that we've written down here. So I might tell you, take the exponent five or the uh, five to the power of two and write it as a product of factors. If you ever see somebody say, write it as a product of factors, they just want you to write it out as things multiplied together, that's it. And since five times five is equal to this, these are the factors because these things are multiplied together. So for instance, six, you can write that as two times three, two times three is six, two and three are factors of six. 10, right? You can write that as two times five is 10. Two and five are factors of 10. I can, I can go on and on, you know, uh, 16. Four times four is 16. Four and four, of course, the same number. Four is a factor of 16. So any number, you can write it as factors that multiply together. So in these problems, we're gonna write the exponent. We're gonna find the answer, most of the time anyway, but mostly I want you to write it as a product of factors. And the reason is because very soon, we're going to use this idea of factors to do more complicated things, especially when we get closer into algebra with variables. We're gonna use factors all the time. All right, so let's take a look at problem number two. In that case, we had to, in this case above, we had to take the exponent here and write it as a product of factors. Now I'm going to give you a product of factors and I'm gonna ask you, write that as a base raised to an exponent, just like this, a number raised to a number. Well, what is multiplied by itself? The two is what is multiplied, so the base is two right? And how many times are we multiplying it here? There's only two of them here, so it has to be two squared. So the answer is two squared. So if I say, here's a product of factors, write it as an exponent, you're basically taking this and you're kind of 
compressing it into our exponent form here. And of course, you know that two times two is four, and so you, you also know that this is equal to four also. Two squared is equal to four. Two times two is four. These are all the same thing. They're different ways of writing the same thing. All right, but this product of factor business, I don't want you to get scared off by it. So this is just the product of factors that give us what we have there. All right, let's take a look at the problem eight to the power of three. Let's write it as a product of factors. And for this one, we're gonna go ahead and calculate the result as well. All right, so what are we multiplying? It's eight to the power of three, to the exponent of three. So it's gonna be eight, and then it'll be times itself eight. But now if we left it like this, that would be eight squared, because there's two of them here. But we have a, th a cube here. When we have a power of three, we call it a cube. When we have a power of two, we call it a square. They just have kind of special names. So we have to add another one here, eight times eight times eight, because it'll be eight to the power of three. You see the power of three is telling you how many times to multiply by itself. All right, so if I ask you to write it as a product of factors, this is what you would circle on your, on your test. But just for giggles, let's calculate what this is equal to. Left to right, eight times eight is what? 64. And we still have to multiply by this eight. And if you multiply out 64 times eight, you get 512. Right, so this isn't really the answer. This is just, I'm just trying to show you that that's what it would equal. The problem is mainly take this and write it as a product of factors. Eight times eight times eight, that's the real answer. 512 is just what it comes out to when you actually calculate it. If you put this in a calculator, it's going to tell you 512. But the product of the factors are these here and the factors here are eight. Each of them are eight multiplied together. All right, what about Let's take the product of factors, one times one times one times one. And I want you to write that as, uh, as an exponent or as some kind of expression with an exponent. What are we multiplying together? Well, it's all one. So it's gonna be, the base is going to be a one. How many of these do we have on the board multiplied by itself? One, two, three, four. So it's gotta be one to the power of four. So if I gave you this product of factors, and I said, write it as an exponent, you would write one to the power of four. Now, just for giggles, what is this equal to? One times one times one times one is just equal to one. So when you have one raised to any exponent, uh, any exponent at all, it's just one times itself that many times and you always get an answer of one back. All right, let's take a look at seven to the power of three. How would I write this as a product of factors? The things that multiply together to give me this, it's gonna be seven times seven times seven. If I just left it at seven times seven, that would be seven squared to the power of two. It's gotta be three of them because it's seven to the power of three. So this is the answer, that's the product of the factors. Now again, just for giggles, let's calculate. What is seven times seven? Seven times seven is 49, right? But I still have to multiply by that third seven and 49 times seven is 343. So if you go to a calculator and take seven to the power of three, you will get 343. If you just write it out in terms of the product of the factors, this is what you get here. All right. We're cooking here, we're almost done. Let's take a look at 15 times 15. I give you this product here and I say, write it as an exponent. And you would say, well, what's being multiplied together are the 15s, and I have two of them, so it has to be 15 squared. That's the final answer. We're not gonna calculate the actual number for all of these. Uh, we'll, we'll just do it for some of them, for practice. But uh, in terms of writing it as an exponent, that's the skill we're trying to get at right here. All right, let's take a look at three to the power of five. I want you to write that as a product of factors. What is being multiplied together? The three is what's being multiplied. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five. I have five of them, so it's three to the power of five. The exponent tells me how many times to multiply by itself. Now, of course, I could calculate what this is equal to by taking three times three is nine, and then this nine times three will be 27, and then 27 times three, and then times three again, whatever that comes out to, I haven't worked it out, that would be what the answer is if I were to calculate this. Here, we're not always trying to do that, we're just trying to write it, we're trying to write it out because when we get to algebra, we're going to have letters everywhere, and then we won't be as concerned with calculating a number, we're just gonna be concerned with you being able to write it out so that we can do other things that we'll learn down the road. All right, only three more. Let's take a look at four times four 
times four times four. Let's, this is a product of factors here. Let's write this as an expression with an exponent. Well, we're multiplying fours, so the base is four, and we have one, two, three, four of them. So it's gonna be four to the power of four, and that's how you would write this in terms of an exponent. All right. What about nine to the power of three? That's an exponent, exponent expression. Let's write it in terms of a product of factors. It'll be nine times nine. That's nine squared, so we have to do one more. Nine times nine times nine, we have three of them because it's nine cubed. And so this is the answer, this is the product of factors. Now we're not gonna do it again for every problem, but just for giggles here, let's calculate this. Nine times nine is 81, and we still have to multiply by this final nine. And then that 81 times nine comes out to 729, 729. So if you take nine to the power of three in your calculator, this is what it will actually tell you. All right, only one more, basically done here. What about 11? times 11 times 11 uh, times 11 times 11. So all of those multiplied together. We're multiplying 11s all times itself, so it's gonna be 11 to the power of one, two, three, four, five. 11 to the power of five. I guess I can make these look more like ones. 11 to the power of five. We're not gonna calculate that one out. It'll be a really, really large number as you multiply them out, but that's the idea. So the point of this lesson wasn't really to have you calculate the answers for the exponents. The point was mostly for you to understand if I give you a, a numbers, a base raised to an exponent, how to multiply it out as a product of factors. And also know that if I have an exponent term like this and I write it like this, these nines multiplied together are what we call factors of the original exponent expression. That, that concept of a factor, it's gonna come up over and over again as we get a little farther here. So we're just getting practice with that. Sometimes we calculate the answer just for giggles to see what it comes out to, but mostly the skill is looking at these products here and writing it as an exponent and then taking the exponent and writing it as a product. That's what we're doing here. So that's why the title is called Ex Exponents and Factors because that's what we're getting practice with here. I'd like you to practice all of these yourself. Get a piece of paper, make sure you're getting all the right answers. Follow me on to part two. We'll wrap up the concept of exponents and factors.